Today, I am doing a challenge where I can only use the shield cameraman and toilet tower fins. So that means nothing else. No scientists, no support, no anything else. Just shield cameraman and we'll see how far we can get. But quick, I have trapped Walter White in the side of a pumpkin. If you like and subscribe to Lanthric, we'll let me out of the pumpkin. Yeah, so do that and it is time to do the shield cameraman only challenge. Of course, we're gonna go to Turkey Town. Now, luckily you start out with three 300, so I just got to make sure to do the best placement and we don't actually need to heal them So this is gonna be a pretty good challenge for only being able to use one unit I'm gonna put him right here because when we upgrade him he'll reach over here here and here the first upgrade is 300 so we're gonna be saving up for a while because I don't have farms and toilets in the beginning Don't give too much money at least he does 400 DPS so we can one-shot pretty much Everything except for large toilet and when spider toilets spawn. Hopefully we have the upgrade. Yeah, I'll skip right now and 300 upgrade now he does 1000 dps now that i got him to level three he does 3000 damage every second uh oh the assassin toilets okay we barely got that one this can get the boss toilet so fast and the next upgrade is 1500 then he'll finally attack faster we don't attack fast enough some of them are getting past wait if i get a 1500 upgrade now he can finally reach over here and he attacks faster i think we'll get these guys on this way around the final upgrade is 3000 500, so I'm gonna be saving up for a while. He does 5,000 damage per second that everything trying to stun him does when they attack, so like, I'm pretty sure the dual blade toilet stuns for 3 seconds, so if it attacks him, it takes 15,000 damage, so he is very, very good against any toilets that stun anything at all. Uh-oh, he's kind of letting the vacuum toilet get past, but we can get a 3,500 upgrade, so now he has this cool energy shield thing and a different outfit, and why Watch what he does to the multi claw jetpack toilet. It just took like 15 or 20k damage instantly when it tried attacking him. I'm gonna get a second one and put him at this corner. And hopefully, when he's maxed out, he can reach around this area. This might actually be the best placement if it can reach this corner and this corner. I'm surprised we're still doing fine on wave 16. With scientists and stuff, having like all a shield cameraman, pretty much you're fine until like wave 40 something, but you get a ton of extra money so this should be harder than having scientists and now i have two of them maxed out he can't really reach either of the corners but he can reach a bit of this area so that's good i remember them not being able to get the buzzsaw mutant toilet on this wave but we'll see if that changed because this placement is definitely a lot better all right we got the buzzsaw to only 51k before the turn uh oh ufo toilet is here at least every time it tries to stun this yield cameraman it is gonna take a lot of damage well it only stuns for two seconds but 10k is still good oh wow we got it before it even went around here that was fast all oh, the flamethrower toilet's gonna damage itself a lot because it stuns for a long time i wonder if we should change the sound effects for the energy shield because it's not really metal this is a little worrying i don't know if we're gonna do enough damage to the boss toilet 3.0 he's still at 100k oh no how are we gonna do 76k more damage um the only other place i think would be good is maybe one right here but I need to get him maxed out like as soon as possible. So I'm gonna skip and hope for the best. Come on, they need to get the dual buzzsaw, not the buzzsaw. He's only at 10k. If we got him, that would give us a lot more. But I don't think we're gonna get enough anyways. We might lose right here. This might be the end of the challenge already. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay, good. We blocked him and he still only has 40k. Come on. We could get him. 16, 12, 8, 4. And we got the boss toilet. Barely. Let's go. Clutch. I'm on wave 26, still doing fine, and I maxed out this guy in the back. I just got the jetpack and mutant toilet. I am surprised. I didn't think we'd get him because he has so much health. I think this is another good placement because I'll be able to get this corner and a lot of this path. Got the flashlight rocket toilet, and then, yeah, this covers a lot of area. Here's the ultra laser toilet on wave 35, and we got him before he got to the end. The funny thing is the ultra rocket launcher toilet <laughs> keeps launching every every single one of his rockets and the shield caravan blocked everyone so he just wasted all 16 of his rockets and they cannot regenerate so many turkey toilets and don't do any aoe damage at least the minigun toilets have a chance to stun every single toilet they pass so they eventually end up dying without me having to do anything since we don't have any farms everything's going pretty slow at the moment i only have nine maxed out shield cameramen i'm trying to get to 10 and i think we might lose soon because 
some things are starting to get pretty far around like right here. Hey, at least the quad rocket mutant toilet tries to attack things with its rockets and lasers a lot. It keeps stopping just to basically damage himself. That's kind of funny. Yeah, we got him really fast. Wow. Oh no, a ton of vacuum toilets. This is not good because this wave, you almost always need AoE damage because of the amount of vacuum toilets. Wait, we're actually getting them all. Okay. And the rocket launcher toilet will damage itself by trying to use the rockets. I am surprised. We're somehow winning this without AoE and I'm gonna get an 11th maxed out shield cameraman. Uh, I'm on wave 40 and nothing is happening. It says 96% complete, but, um, I, I don't see anything. Uh, we're gonna have to look into this. Let's see if we can beat the scientist toilet. He stuns for five seconds, I think, so every time he hits a shield toilet, he takes 25k more damage, or shield cameraman, not shield toilet. That reminds me, on the update log, Evan put small scientist cameraman instead of small scientist toilet, and then people were asking how to get the small scientist cameraman, it was kind of funny. Even though we may be winning right now, there is no way we're gonna defeat the final boss with just shield cameraman, because they only do 10k DPS each, which is like not crazy, and they don't have much range. Ooh, glitch toilet versus shield cameraman. He just damages himself for like 25k every time he circles one. There he goes. He's dead already. Bro, how are we still alive on wave 46 with just shield cameraman? The toxic mutant toilet still has a lot of health though. I don't think he's gonna make it past probably. You can't really skip because it's too risky, but I guess you could pretty much almost get to the end. I don't know if we're gonna win, but it's been 49 minutes, so you can get around 30 minutes with better strategies. We're actually surviving longer than with scientists, but to be fair, when I was using the scientists and stuff, I put all of them over here so they did not have as much reach as these guys. But now I have max troops. I have all 15, and they're all maxed out on wave 48. So let's see if we can win this. Wave 49 looks pretty hard. There are a lot of things that are mostly meant for AoE things because they don't have too much health. If we had something with AoE, then we could get them easy. Yeah, a lot of things are getting past the front. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get them all on the way around. Here's the flying quad buzzsaw toilet, still without really having animations. Um, oh wow, the flamethrower was the only thing that got past and only 20k health left. Can we win this with just shield cameraman? This is the way you need crazy DPS. If we can win with just shield cameraman, then we can probably only win with jetpacks, but then we have to have a healing unit. Here's the small scientist toilet, and we got him almost. When he comes around, we'll get him. Boss toilet 4.0 and massive buzzsaw oven, then giant turkey toilet. Let's see if we can win. We might be able to. When he tries to stun all these guys, he takes so much damage because every single one he tries to stun does like 20k damage back to him. I don't know if we can do 3 million though. And these guys are getting past. Bro, this is going to be so close. We got the boss toilet 4.0, now it's just the massive buzzsaw saw of an and turkey toilet. Okay, good. He almost made it past, but he kind of stopped to try to cook one of the shield cameramen. We got him! It is now just the giant turkey toilet. Can we do enough damage? Okay, he stopped right here, so if he stops around this area, we might be able to get him. 500k, 400, 300. Okay, good. He stopped for a second. He stopped. Yes, we got him! We won with just the shield cameraman. I did not expect that to work. I did not expect that to work. To be fair, we did make it where turkey mode gives you 25% more money than Nightmare, so if I was on Nightmare, I probably wouldn't be able to get all of the shield cameramen without the scientist, and then I wonder if I could win Nightmare with just shield cameramen, though, because we'd probably be able to get, like, 10 to 12. I don't know, I might try that later, but as always, subscribe with the notifications on and like the video, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.